Hello everyone! In this video, I will show you how to handle keyboard inputs from users. We are going to use Event Handler again from JavaFX to make this possible. So far, I have a blank window that has been created. I also have a blank text that has been attached to the stack pane layout. When I press a key from my keyboard, I want my scene of the window to display a text that says which key is being pressed. There are three ways to implement Event Handler for key event. The first way of doing this is by implementing an interface to this class. That interface is the Event Handler. So let's do that. Implement Event Handler less than sign and greater than sign. In between these signs, type in key event. Make sure that you import one for event handler and one for key event. For event handler, import this library. For the key event, import this library. After that, we need to make a method for this event handler. So let's do that. Type in at override because this following method has been declared from event handler interface. Now type in public void handle parentheses. Inside of the parentheses, type in key event variable and the curly braces. Okay. We want to tell the computer that we want to display a text on the scene of the window after we press down a key on the keyboard. The text will say which key has been pressed. In order to do that, we need to type in the following code under this scene object. Type in scene dot set on key pressed. Inside of the parentheses, type in this. This syntax means that whenever I press a key, it will look for a handle method inside of this class. And that method is here. To display a text on the scene, we need to use this object. But since this object is created inside of this method, we need to move this. I'm going to make it global. Now we can use this object for this method as well. Now, we want to make a message for the text object. This can be done by typing in text, which is the variable from here, dot set text, open close parentheses. Inside of the parentheses is where we can place the string of the message. Let's type in a key has been pressed. Now let's run it. I am going to type something. Key has been pressed. I want this window to display what key I am pressing. To do that, I am going to show you. Delete this string, then type in event get code and the parentheses. Since this method set text takes in a string only, we need to convert this to a string because this right here is not a string. So let's convert that to string. Two, 
string and we just convert it to string now let's run it to see what happens okay I have a window now and let me press a key shift a Z Q T P M N okay let me show you the second way of doing it before I do that let me delete this whole method delete this interface and that's it make sure that you keep this library and this library now we delete this too. The second way of doing this is type in new event handler, less than sign, and greater than sign. In between these signs, type in key event. After that, type in open close parentheses and the curly braces. This right here is anonymous in the class. Now let's continue. Type in at override, then the method public void handle parentheses key event variable curly braces. Let's do the same thing that we did from the first way of doing this. Let's type in text dot set text. Type in event, which is from here, dot get code. Since this is not a string, we need to convert it dot to string. Okay, we should be good now. I'm going to press P Q W E R T Y. Looks like it's working. Now, let's delete this. Also, you can delete this library and this library. We are going to use the lambda expression. So type in the variable hyphen in the greater than sign. Since we are going to use one line of code, then we don't need the curly braces. Now, we want to do the same thing that we did for the previous method of displaying text on the window. So type in text.setText, text. parentheses, get rid of the semicolon. Then we type in event.getCode. To string and it should work still. Let me press a key. It still works. Another feature that I want to add is when I let go of the key, I want it to be cleared. I don't want to see any text when, when I let go of the key. To do that, we need to type the following code in. Type in scene dot set on key released. Parentheses. Inside of the parentheses, type in event hyphen greater than sign. Then type in 
text dot set text parentheses inside of the parentheses type in the double quotes and that's it let's see what our program looks like now okay let me press a button m p q w e r t y it works in some applications key combinations are used for an example in some games in order to sprint you would need to press shift w that would behave like one key when i press shift w i want to see shift w at the same time let's type this following code in type in key combination variable equals new key code combination open close parentheses inside of the parentheses type in key code dot w then type in key code combination dot shift down okay in this program we are going to use shift w shift down means that i would have to hold down the shift key and then pressing the w key without letting go the, of the shift key before we go on, we need to import all these libraries. One for key code combination, which is this library. One for key code, which is this library. And then key combination library, which is this one. All right, so let's move on. For this set on key press, let's add the curly braces because we want to add more than one line of text. Let's make an if statement. Type in if, type in the variable combination which came from here, then type in dot match event. This variable came from here. If this is true, then shift W has been pressed and it should execute the following code under the if statement. I will type in text dot set text and for the string, I will say shift W. And let's make this as an else statement for this code right here. Let's run and see what happens. When I press other keys, it looks normal. Now, let's do the shift W. Shift W. It works. Now, let's delete the old code and talk about something new. Let's say that we only want a single key to do stuff, nothing else. No other keys can do anything. To do that, Type in if parentheses event dot get code parentheses double equals 
key code dot let's use key A. And we want our text to say that letter A has been pressed. Type in text dot set text parentheses inside type in double quotes a has been pressed double quotes okay now let's run and see okay let me press m nothing now let's try a a has been pressed okay now let's say that we have multiple keys that need to do stuff instead of using the if statement i recommend that we use the switch statement type in switch parentheses then type in event dot get code parentheses now the curly braces then the cases let's use the w key type in case w colon text dot set text double quotes and let's say that w has been pressed type in w has been pressed then break let's use the key a type in case a now type in text dot set text Parentheses, double quotes, A has been pressed. Type in break. Now, let's use the key S. Case S. Let's change this. Now we type in break. Then we type in this, which is default. Colon, break as well. Let's run to see what it looks like. Let me press A, okay, W. S, Z, Q, R. This works. Awesome, huh? All right, so this concludes the tutorial on how to handle keyboard inputs from users. Stay tuned for my next tutorial, and thank you for watching.